So you've been thinking about getting a cybersecurity degree. Let's talk about it. So I was asked the question a number of times, are cybersecurity degrees worth getting? I have a couple of answers to that. It depends. Yes, no, maybe, it really depends. So if you go to college in general, I have a general rule of thumb is that college is about as valuable as you allow it to be. If you go to college and you learn some things, most things that you learn, including writing skills, like the practice that you get from turning things in on time, establishing routine, learning how to do research, regardless of other things that people might think or not think about, especially if you're in the sciences where you're getting to sit down where someone helps you with the math, someone helps you with coding, you have other colleagues and people to help you learn. College is an environment that's good for learning for those who actually are going to apply what they learn. And communi communication skills are still things that can be applied when you learn. Technology skills and science skills are probably the most valuable. So if you want to go to college for a cybersecurity degree, the science that you learn behind the degree is valuable if you decide to actually go and do something with it. So even if you don't end up in a technical job, if you get into cybersecurity or something else where you can leverage the knowledge that you gain to help you become more of a professional and a, you know, a more rounded professional who has some education from a, a collegiate environment, then you put your degree to use. And if you stick with everything and work real hard and if you decide that you want to focus on salary and on this channel I talk about salary you can learn how to negotiate raises you can learn how to get a job but one of the things that I have built is a cybersecurity qualifications guide to see what jobs you might be qualified for right now even even if you don't go to college or even if you do go to college because if you go to college you might qualify for different types of jobs right away outside of college that you don't qualify for if you don't go to college right out of the gate. Because at the end of the day, the more you know how to do in cybersecurity where you can actually get results, because I've met people who go to college, pass the tests and don't learn anything. And then I've met people who go to college, really soak in everything. Maybe they don't even care about what the grade is, but they just soak up what they learn. And they just learn so much from school that they retained that they get stellar results and college help them get stellar results. So if you're just going to go to college because you don't know what to do and you're just trying to bide your time, it's probably a waste of money. Probably just go get a job. Honestly, probably just go if you want to go into cybersecurity and you don't even know what you want to do and you're not positive and the answer is I don't know. Start by getting a job and think about it while you're working because then while you're working then you'll have all the time in the world to figure out do you want to go later. I've met people who ended up going to college when they were 27 and then they graduated when they were 34, and then they ended up getting a master's degree when they were 34, so they went out and used that master's degree, but they'd been in the workforce for so long that they knew what they wanted, and then they ended up doing some stuff and utilizing that and building connections with the degree they got. Their salary was so high that the amount or the cost for college was negligible. I know someone else who got the military to pay for their degree, so you can always go to the military if you're not sure if you want to get a degree or not. And the military is also an outstanding Standing entry path into cybersecurity. If not, if you don't know what you want to do, it's a better option than college because you'll at least not be spending money while you're trying to figure out if you want to go to college. And then if you decide you want to go to college after the military, then the military can pay for your school. And now that is something special where you can get the experience in the military working with genuine intelligence, actual intelligence, doing the real thing, being a real professional and then going and getting the degree based off of what you've been doing so then you can just take it to the next level. Think about what you're gonna be like when you're 30 making six figures, trying to push your way to that $200,000 salary or start a company or whatever you're trying to do. I don't know what you wanna do when you're 30. I don't even know if you know what you wanna do when you're 30 if you're not 30 yet, for those of you. Yes. So, my answer is, just education in general to me is valuable, but it's only valuable if you take it seriously. And that's my answer to that. Uh, cybersecurity is a 
field where you can make the money back if you end up in a hundred thousand dollars in cybersecurity schooling debt whatever just go get a high paying job and pay it off done and then once it's paid off then you have a high salary okay great sure you can get a high salary without going to college as well it just depends on what you want to do if you don't go to college and you want to try to build advanced skill sets then you're gonna to have to learn that on the job and maybe you would personally do better in a, in a collegiate environment maybe you don't learn on the job as well maybe you do better having teachers and people who will sit down with you and other students and study groups and being tested on it it really depends on your personality and so that's something that you would have to think about but uh, if you do go to college get as many certifications while you're in college as you can and I strongly recommend getting the Security Plus certification, which if you want to know about how to get that, just message me sometime and we'll talk. You can message me on YouTube, direct message. Or you can just go to my website, get my information, get the qualifications guide that I provided in the description below so that you can see what job you're qualified for now if you decide you don't want a degree. But you probably should get your Security Plus certification even if you don't plan on going to college. So consider getting a Security Plus certification in college if you go to college, or if you don't, just get it anyways. Just get the Security Plus. If it's the one thing you do in your cybersecurity career when it comes to additional education, then it, that that's worth it. So there's my thoughts. If you want to qualify for certain security clearances and get certain, you know, high security level jobs, a lot of them require a security plus, which is why that's important. So subscribe to this channel if this is the type of content that you enjoy. Don't if you don't. I don't even know why you're still watching this video if you don't like my content. So stop watching it before you hurt yourself because you're losing time and you're getting older every second. So do yourself a favor. I'll see everyone the next time. Ask more questions. We'll catch up.